Welcome everybody to another day of Counter-Strike here at European Pro League Season 11, Second Division. The first match of the day that we got is Sprout Academy versus Rosa Maha team. And the second will be the winner's match of Group A, Astralis Talent versus Permita Esports. Well, let's talk about the teams that we got in front of us right now. Sprout Academy and Rosa Maha team. We've had the opportunity to watch Sprout Academy play before. Uh, and after a while, Sprout, they uh, let go of their roster, but now they sign it back again, which is a bit different from last time. FNK is still there, has the IGL. Well, let's see how well they do. Mirage is the first map of the series, the choice of Rosa Maha team. FNK takes down Scutch, and Randall, Randy is going to respond. Trade found, Tuck eliminates Randy. FNK finds Donnie Savage on Zipbosh, and Tuck with the last on Madison. Sprout Academy. A really strong pistol round here. They don't give Rosa Maha a bomb plant. Rosa Maha. I think uh, we've had them before on the second division, but they couldn't make any deep runs. Remember Scott Academy? Well, they're a decent team. Uh, like I mentioned, their first roster was different. They have four new players. FNK is left from the original uh, academy roster with Feed as a coach. Miller, Savage, Pak, and Doshka are new. This roster got formed like a month ago or something, or it got official at least. Don't know for how long before they were cooking with this one. But either way. Round number three, the first gun round here of this match. We got the AKs now for Rosa Maha. Sit pause, patiently waiting in case Bout Academy are going to play aggressive. FNK, he just got away with murder. Kill found on Randy from short and there was no response. At least not in time. Zipwatch going to find Tak and the second on Dojka. Savage and Miller do respond. But Zipwatch, that double kill. He's given a chance to Donny and Scutch. Two versus three. Smoke, pop connector, and Scotch will go for the bomb plant. Diffuse kit available on all three players of Spout Academy here. And they have a man advantage, and FNK is going to take down Scotch. That's a free frag. Not really paying attention towards jungle. And Donny, he's made noise. I know that he's in connector. Another smoke there thrown. FNK will be the first to fall. Donny. Bomb is planted for him. Frag on by Savage. Slice in. 18 HP remaining for Donny. And bomb is being defused. Donny takes down Miller, but that's not the bomb defuser. Nice shot. One versus three. He gets two frags. Can't find the third. Has no vision because he's blocked off of that smoke. It was a difficult round to begin with. He's good for Rosamo to buy again. They planted the bomb and that last bonus is on the rise. Donny. Extinguishing the fire by boxes. Those guys going to eliminate Maj and that was the aggression on under. And he got away with it. Rosamo team still looking for somebody to peek on mid, but no. 
Shroud Academy, they already got a kill and went back. Savage has found the frag on Zipoch and Rosamal team still no response. They are going to go towards the apartment. Savage. Frag grenade and the flash thrown so he can escape here. Spots a player in two. And now he has a better angle. He gets away with it. Maybe we will see the save here from from Rosamal. He can't really do much. So Sprout Academy, it's a strong start, 4-0. And this is the map choice of Rosa Maha team. Five players alive here for the CT side. That economy is going to look strong now. Be an execution on the A side here. The three AKs, a Galil and a Mac 10. It is only one defender in talk right now. On default. Lash out high from his teammate, and he doesn't get a single frag there. And Milik is going to miss a shot with the up. Those them all. They have control of this A side, and they need to get that bomb down as soon as possible. But FNK, the spray on default is good. Skush falls. Sees his low HP. Miller with the up has also found Zipos. Tony, he knows that planting this bomb is going to be very difficult, that smoke is not a wall, but here's the push, he reads it from FNK, and the wall bang attempts from the CT side are good, they're doing damage, Doshka in the meantime has found Randy, and now Majin will go for the bomb plant, 2 versus 3 though, but Miller, the wall bang on Doni is going to leave Majin alone, who is yet to frag here, this can be a really good clutch to Sarge Rosamala, but no. Savage shuts him down. Sprout Academy. A great retake. No timeout here from Rosamaha, which I would expect after they've lost five in a row. Money is good to buy again. Zipash, looking for a frag, spots a player on short. Now Savage, he gets tested on the smoke use on balcony. Not on site like we usually see the B anchors do, and Majin is going to take him down. Scush in the meanwhile has found FNK. Good B take here by Rosamo. Scush finds a second before going for that bomb plant. Millard, off shot lands on Rendy. It's Millard and Tak. And yeah, this one is long gone. They will go for the save, but look at who's in connector. Zipposh, Millard. 
alert, scoped up, he gets a frag. I believe that scope was, that pre-aim was intended for short, but he ended up getting the frag on the player in connector, which was a big bonus. Cock, a free frag on Scutch. Millard and Tak are going to save their weapons. Rosa Ma team finally get on board after losing five in a row. His hands. Randy out on top mid. He's already used the smoke to extinguish the fire. Sprout Academy, they are active on mid. Player in connector, one on short, and Doshka was in the window, but he's repositioned because he didn't see anything from Rosa Maha. And here's the retake on mid. It will be an ace split by Rosamaha. Three players on mid, and the other two on A. Smoke on top, connector by Magent. Does Sprout Academy have the information? Savage has pushed on B apartments, and as you can see, the fourth player has survived on this A defense. Nice Sprout Academy, FNK gets one frag, Donnie with a trade. Will be available here, there's a player in Sandwich, Talk and Miller get frags here, Talk on Sandwich finally falls to Doni, who will also find Dojka. Huge triple kill here by Doni, and he will go for this bomb plant. That smoke and connector is still standing, but now it will fade soon. Savage coming from T-spawn. Now he is in Palace, Diffuse kit available. We have utility on Millard, Molotov used, that will flush out Doni further to CT. And look at Scourge, the timing, it works in favor of Savage. Now Doni, one versus two, flash out high, Millard, no defuse yet. Doni, Molotov used on default, but is it going to be enough? Millard is already on the defuse, two seconds, one second, oh my god, Doni, that is a huge frag to find. And now Savage, he has to stick the defuse, the smoke has gone to Inferno, unfortunately. And it will be Doni with the clutch to give Rosama her round number two. That Molotov is so clutch. Savage, where was the smoke earlier? He could have saved his teammate from burning. That decision needed to be made in a couple of seconds. The economy of Sprout Academy is broken. We got the hero M4 on talk. Scush has burned. Dojka Zippo takes on FNK. To talk. One frag found. Randy. Ready for window. Talk somehow alive with 8 HP. Academy have the right read. 
the entire squad is on B, but will it really make a difference here? Because the HP is not looking great. Here it is, Savage with the Zeus. He's going to miss. Zipos takes him down. Taco with the M4S found one frag, and they know where he is. Donny and Majin with the last two frags. Rosa Maha. Round number three. It was a nice try. The Sprout Academy with that he ran for. And they had the right read to go for a B stack. But Savage, that Zeus, as soon as it misses, he is a dead man. Talk and those who were low HP too, so. Timeout call by Sprout Academy. Because they had that great start, 5 0, but now Rosa Maha are up. Another A exit here by Rosamo team. The push on ramp. It will be Tak to take the kill on Zipwash. Tak finds a second and a third. Are you kidding me? It was low HP from the first duel, but he still got two more frags. Insane triple kill by Tak. Magent and Reddy, Rendy versus three. They need to get that bomb down at least here. The last bonus is on the second stage for Rosamaha. Smoke in Palace by Spout Academy. They have two players on CT and Rosa Maha. With the time on the clock, they are simply waiting for Sprout Academy to come and give them a fight. And that is exactly what they're doing. Magin takes down Savage. Now Miller with that off is on CT. Flash to get out of shadow. Smoke available. And the first smoke was used to block off connected the second. The block off round Randy with a swing. Sees the op. FNK. He's holding. For any push in connector. But Rosa Maha, they have another plan. It looks like they want to go B. And Millard, it's about time that you start questioning this commitment to the A side here. But no, Rosa Maha. They've made the right decision. And FNK, I believe. No. I thought that he heard the steps. But I guess he wasn't close enough. Either way. It's a two versus two retake. Miller and FNK have no defuse kits here. Rosa Maha with a really good rotation. They got this B site. 10 seconds already gone. FNK on short. Imagine is going to eliminate Miller. That leaves only FNK and the one versus two still shifting around. And Randy's finally going to show himself. Rosa Maha. Round number four. Two versus three there. And they just sit and patiently wait. And Sprout Academy give them something. And on the 2v2. They decide to rotate B. From jungle to kitchen. And that was the perfect decision. Now their economy is broken. We got three Deagles and a P250. I believe we are going to see an up next round from Miller. Scotch. Still holding connector. Magent is going to take down FNK. There's a player on spawn. Donny takes care of Doska. What a comeback from Rosa Maha. Well, the way that it started, I thought to myself, oh wow, okay. Maybe this will be a quick one, but no. Rosa Maha do wake up eventually. Another correct read here from Sprout Academy. But it's just pistols at the end of the day. 
doesn't really mean much, even though they have three players in this position. Okay, maybe. Savage with a dig, one bound, and the ESP from Millard is deadly. And Tak gets cleaned up. Randy's going to burn Millard eventually. Rosamaha, they tie the score. It's five to five now. The op on Miller got boosted on the apartments. Imagine needs to be careful. Oh my, Imagine actually gets the frag against the op. That's clean. Five versus four. Just like that, and it only took him four bullets. Very precise shooting. Aggression on Ramskush is gonna fall, but Zipash trade on Tak. FNK Smoke on ramp It gets blown FNK There's an off angle here for Palace Rosama need to be careful Alt off of Doni and look at the timing from FNK Catching him on the jump end The dink on the player on ramp on Zipos And somehow he's still alive Those got takes down Zipos Tapping away and he finds a second on Randy My god that was beautiful to watch Imagine one versus three and Doshka with a triple kill. Sprout Academy. They don't let Rosa Maha take the lead. They are the first ones to get six. My, what a shot from Randy. Savage. Jumping for information, but he got a bullet on his face. That's gotta hurt. Doshka though. He got the trade immediately on Majin. There was aggression by Spout Academy on top mid. And aggression on under, but Donny's ready for Doshka. Flashes to set up Zipos for success. Miller is blind on sight. I think Zipos knows that there's someone there. Yes, now he spotted him for sure. And there's more pressure being applied here. Here's Zipos. Wants to play. He's running out of ammunition, but he still gets one frag at least. FNK. Trade on Zipos. FNK and Tak are here. And Tak gets a second frag on Donny. He's down to the 1v1. Skush versus Tak for this last round of the first half. And Tak has no idea. The off angle from Skush is good, though. Rosa Maha team. An incredible comeback. They were losing 5-0. to zero. They tie the score 5-5. Five to five, And at the end, they get the 6th too. The second half has begun. We have a lot of utility for Sprout Academy and the P250 on FNK. Two smokes and three flashes. It's a hit on the A side here. It's good. Sean CT gets blind, has a reposition. He has a defuse kit and a smoke to play with. 
Not Academy, where's the push going to be? On CT for Scutch, what a shot that is on Tuck, and they're going to swing. Zipash takes down Dogecoin, and Scutch, another frag found. Zipash and Scutch, my god! Destroying Sprout Academy here on this pistol round. It's a clean W for Rosamaha team. Well, bomb got planted here. We got a forest by from Spout Academy. The Galils. Smoke on Miller to the flash on FNK. They're simply going to peek on mid with these rifles. What's the plan going to be here for Spout Academy? Because with the only one smoke in the flash, we can't really do much. FNK. With his Lurk on B, his Monk on B apartments, but FNK is past that, and he's holding, Magent is expecting somebody to be close. If it is Magent, what a shot on FNK. He's been waiting with that Lurk for a long time, but nothing comes out of it. Savage, headshot on Randy. That should be the green light to start running towards this A-side, but Skush is on side. Skush is on side, and they have no idea. He gets the first frag, now the second tuck. Good trade. That was Skull, also finds a headshot on Magic. It's a 2 versus 2 here from a 2 versus 4. Bomb gets planted, but Doni gets a kill on Tuck. Now Dojka has to fight both sides. He gets a frag on Doni, and now versus Zipposh. Just running away. The CT. Zipposh. Smoke use on the bomb. Going to tap that one, it will not be the stick, and Doshka, of course, he has no other choice but to get closer, because he doesn't know. A nice survive from Sprout Academy. It was a 2 versus 4, and it was down to the 1v1. They planted the bomb, so for sure we will see another buy here from Sprout Academy. Because they got 4 kills, they know that the economy of Rosamaha is weak. AK on talk. Okay, we have no force buy. I was so sure of it. But no, it's one AK, four tech nines. More utility than last time, that's for sure. Insta window thrown. Imagine heard that. He heard that little burn. He has a lot of utility ready for this V-hit from Sprout Academy, Incendiary, Frag Grenade in the smoke. But after that smoke on B Apartments, Sprout Academy, it looks like they want to go back and try something else. Three players walk in connector, Doni on CT, and the MP9 on side from Skush. And Skush is gonna get the first frag, I think, here with the trade. Doni responds quick, that flash on CT is a bit delayed, I'm afraid. Sprout Academy, they are going to plant the bomb, or try to! Doni doesn't allow that, not on his watch. 
Zipos takes down Doshka, it's just Tak with the AK. The only one that purchased, but it's just way too many targets. He's exposed to everything and rolls them all a team. If you've just tuned in, they were losing 5-0. If we take those first five rounds out of the out of the equation, this is nine to one right now. But this is the first full Biostrat Academy on the second half. FNK, what a shot on Donny. Throwing utility on mid. Well, that's a good start for Spout Academy. Spout Academy wants to split towards B. The Molotov in that room is going to make things harder for Imagine here, but he might have a good reaction if it's quick. But no, Tak is going to take down Sipash. Doge Cow will lurk. He's going to find Randy. And this should be a round for Spout Academy. Imagine, headshot on FNK. He's searching for Dogeka, and there he is, headshot found. Only imagine remaining. Big round from Stroud Academy here. We got a tech pause. Sprout Academy. Winning that last round was important. I think hey, the kill on Donny was incredible. Money is good for another buy here for Rosamara team. The op is out for Rendy. M4 is in an MP9. Diffuse kit available. A hit here from Spout Academy. Skush is going to use the smoke in front of him to give himself some space to move to breathe. And he gets the first frag with the MP9. FNK trade found the match and though. Skush will be next to fall. FNK with a big double kill. Zipposh. It's a player on Palace. And a dink on Miller, but it's not a frag. A two man advantage here for Spout Academy. Doni and Rendy. Talk with this lurk from B has found Donny leaving just the op on Vendy. And he has to save. Sprout Academy as soon as they got their hands on these AKs on this full buy. They're coming back.
Randy, only five kills to his name so far on this match. And here he is, a shot on tag, but he needs much more than just one frag to win this round. Scotch with the ESV, he will have great timing and catch those who are not watching. Savage with a wall bank kill. Bomb being planted on default. Rosa Maha. No reaction. Randy, that off is gone now. And it's just the pistols, and we can see how easy it is for Savage. And the rest of the players to remove these players. Sprout Academy tie the score. Randy was a good shot on Ramp and Skush. Finding Doshka here. Things got interesting. It was 5 versus 3 for Rosa team, but it was short lived. A hit on the A side here, Scush goes into the flames, weirdly enough. Savage takes on Donny and Savage is going to burn Scush. Randy with one, but FNK responds quick. Scush, I don't know what happened there. He sees the Molly on balcony and still decides to go up the ladder. And Sprout Academy, it was a slow start, very slow start to the second half. But now they are the first ones to get to double digits. Rosamaha. This is a good time for a timeout. But seeing how they didn't call a timeout when they were losing 5-0, I don't think they're going to call one here either. Majin takes down talk. It's very important that these guns stay alive. AK, M4, Scout, Deagle, and a 5-7. We got a defuse kit just in case. Spout Academy are taking their sweet time. Doshka in the window. Rosamo, it's not that they're not expecting it. It's Majin holding from CT. Oh my, Doshka still gets a frag and Randy. The reaction is there. He gets the first frag and FNK is low HP. With that off holding kitchen. Skush coming from behind. He gets the first frag. That was a low HP player. Last shot high. Looking to get that up, but at the same time, waiting for his teammates. Talk is going to decapitate Scotch. Bendy and Donny, no defuse kit here. You have to move quicker if you're thinking about retaking, but no. They're going to save the AKs. Sprout Academy will get one round closer to victory.
We got another tech pause here. We had one earlier. The problem is on the Sprout Academy side, as you can tell by those who are not buying. Sprout Academy. Five rounds in a row after they lost the first three. Rosa Martin, they had a good start, but they couldn't maintain that. Smoking window and top connector here from Sprout Academy. Those got masking his jump with the gunshots. You have those gone mid with FNK. Spout Academy will split on A. Skush on default. And Zipos on sandwich, but look at FNK. He's already out on stairs. Zipos might be in trouble here. And Skush hasn't used any utility. I don't know why it's 40 seconds remaining and he will fall by not using any. Zipos! One kill, yes, but he's done. Tuck, trade found. The off shot is going to miss from Randy and the repeat FNK is not scared of an AWP. Takes him down. Dojka with a lurk as well. Finally activates and finds Majin and that leaves only Doni. Just found one frag. Spots the second player. But I don't know how the hell he's going to make this one work. Incendiary available. Spots one in connected. That frag on will be the end of FNK. Good kill, good start in Cindy area as well since we spotted the second player. There's one in jungle. That shot nearly connects to the head of Miller, but no. Smoke here, six fingers the fire, diffuse kill available, and he just has to stick the diffuse and pray that there's an injury going. One second remaining, Donnie, is he going to defuse this? Are you kidding me? How? One versus four from Donnie. It's not Academy. Do they not know where they planted? I had no faith whatsoever. Oh my god, and Donny, he was low HP. Or half at least. He just jumped on that defuse like a boss. Sprout Academy, call a timeout. That round should have been theirs. This should have been 12 to 9 now. But Donny. With the one versus four clutch, he keeps Rosa Maha on Mirage with a chance of winning this on regulation. Wendy. Looking for a fight on mid, he's missed the nade though. What's the decision going to be for Sprout Academy this time around? Two players in ladder. Randy with the AWP holding the cross towards catwalk. And sometimes paying attention to ladder room.
Majin and zip out some of the B defense, and Vendi has rotated as well, holding B apart with that up. It is the right decision. That shot is going to land on Taki, will be the first to fall. And Miller is next in line. Magent has a great angle here for the players coming from shore, but those guys found Skush. FNK takes down Zippos, but Vandy and Magin are still here. And they both get frags. Bomb is being planted for short. Magin's going to swing with the ESV. And he will get the frag, but Sprout, Sprout Academy at least. They planted the bomb. But Rosamaha team. Three frags from Vandy. Finally he shows up. He was very quiet up until now. This is a very important round. We can see how much that 1 versus 4 clutch means. We are tied. 11. Off mid and window smoke, Randy has jumped on short. Wish Jimmy is going to get map point first. Tony, he is going to eliminate Savage on Palace. That's a big kill to find. Smokes on A, but it doesn't matter. Imagine he's found Dojka. The lurk on mid. This line not successful. And it will be very difficult to enter this A bomb site. Miller, he's holding. CT with the op. Talk, he's found a frag for Spot Academy, but he needs more than that. 60 seconds remaining. Donny has shot on an FNK. Miller has missed the shot on the player on CT. That frag grenade is going to deal some good damage. And Randy has arrived with his sniper. On CT. He doesn't want to peek just yet. Oh, we got the boost. But he got spotted by Millard. Headshot found. Two versus three. They have the info about one player being on CT. And Millard is paying attention towards Shadow. Zipash is not showing himself. He has a good position here. Millard is going to go for the bomb plan eventually. There it is. Zipash, does he move? He wants to talk that he spots Zipash. I don't know. I don't think so. Eventually, Zipash is going to peak. Donny takes down Miller. Talk with the trade. Talk alone. 25 HP. Flash use. Repositioning. Donny is low. Skush needs to stay alive. And better than staying alive, Skush is going to eliminate Talk. And it will be Rosamal team to get the 12 first. Map point. Another big round by Donny with three frags. Timeout call by Sprout Academy. Tony inside connector, Doska. Looks like he wants to push that smoke, but it will end terribly wrong. Don't know what he was thinking there. The chances are very slim. And he comes out of that with the frag. Zipoch. FNK behind the smoke. Zipoch is paying close attention, and FNK will be next to fall. Machin has found a frag on Tak. In the meantime, it's Miller and Savage to keep Sprout Academy alive on Mirage. A 2 versus 4 needed to take us to overtime. 
Tony heard the jump on Sandwich Miller for that up is creeping close, but Vendy is already holding the angle, and now it's just Savage. One versus four. AK on his hands coming from ramp. He has a lot of utility. The first headshot is his on Zipash. Imagine this lower speed. Can he isolate these duels? He's picked up the C4, 40 seconds remaining. But if he tries to go on B, it will be very obvious. If he goes on A, the players are already waiting, so... Damn if I do. Damn if I don't. Flash from Savage out high. And we got Vandy holding the angle. He's not going to miss the shot. Rosa Maha. 13 to 11 on Mirage. And this all started with that one versus four clutch by Doni. That was incredible. Getting the first two frags and then finding the smoke on his teammate's body. Going for the ninja defuse. And I thought that Sprout Academy had that round for sure. But apparently not. Doni with incredible impact at the end there. And then of course Rosamaha. Uh, they didn't stop winning. It would have been 12 to 9, but instead it was Rosamaha to win four rounds in a row and make it 13 to 11. That's gotta hurt if you're Sprout Academy. But we got more counts right to be played. Anubis is going to be the second map, the choice of Sprout Academy. We will take a break and then we will come back with Anubis.
13 to 11 on the first map of the series, Rosamaha. It was quite the comeback after that incredible 1 versus 4 from Doni. Now, we are on Anubis. The choice of Sprout Academy, who are looking to take us to the third and last map, which would be Vertigo. It starts with a pistol round here. Zippos does a really good smoke. He gets a first frag, not the second, but Randy is there. Randy has round two frags. Savage doesn't want to push the smoke, but Bomb is down. He has a smoke of his own to work with. But not having the C4 here is going to make this one super difficult. They're shifting towards B. Hoping for a flank, perhaps. But Rosamaha are going to expect this, of course. They have four players. Scotch is holding CT spawn here. And he will get some information really soon. Here it is, F and K will be the first to fall. Scush looking for the second is going to eliminate Savage. Rosamaha team win the pistol. That smoke from Zippodge was big and getting the first frag. But then Randy with his double kill. Five glocks and a flash from Stroud Academy. Flash out high, Scush with the incendiary with the MP9. But Majin gets one Scush with two. And nearly a third, but FNK is going to get that bomb plan no matter what. So this is a win in Sprout Academy's book. Full buy from Stroud Academy. The boost on mid Millard. Doesn't spot anybody. Control for Sprout. A question on the main hit. They know that Pocket's in the corner. And that's the first frag of the round. And Magent. A second on Millard. Big double kill there. And they have enough utility to go back to safety. Those got pushing the smoke, but Donnie was waiting. It's Savage and FNK versus Five. Rosa Maha team. The aggression on B main. Sprout Academy got caught off guard, even though they were. Well, they were kind of waiting for it. Or at least one player was. Savage. Final score, Chef and K is going to take down Doni. Good multi kill there, and that smoke is going to give him cover. And Savage is going to take down Majin just like that. The 2 versus 5 is now a 2 versus 2. Randy in connector, but Savage has found the third, leaving Zepos alone. Jumping around with the MP9. Holy! What a round from Savage. From 0 to hero. He had no kills, and then he just takes 4. In a 2 versus 5, Rosamaha, that is a big drop.
They dropped the ball hard. Big round from Stroud Academy. Surely they feel fired up after that clutch. But Bendy, he's gonna take down FNK. That connector smoke. It wasn't really to block off the CTs from picking canals. Don't know what the big idea was there. Zippos. Incendiary ready. No, oh, yes, he does. It's used. Savage will fall. Not this time. Back grenade flies in. Miller takes some damage. Zipash. Molotov and Frag grenade on site. Tak is gonna take him down. Skush has found Doshka. Back in Miller, two versus four. We just saw a two versus five. Is this going to happen? That flash in camera is perfect. Tak is going to commit to the bomb plan for the second time. Rosamaha, they have a defuse kit on Scutch. And here they come, Tak. Got caught looking the other way, and Scutch is going to get the trade immediately on Miller. This time there are no heroics from Sprout Academy. It is Rosamaha team. They extend their lead. Sprout Academy, they do some pressure on B with the Lurk Smokes. But they plan to hit this A site and they have a lot of utility. Malthoffs will take mid. Wendy with that AWP holding A main. Smoke is not the best from Zipwatch. He has to guard it. The nade is good. He spotted a player. Makes some damage. And now Rendy's in trouble. Rendy's going to get eliminated by Tak with the help of FNK. Don't need trade found on FNK. Smoke. The block off camera there. And those guys going to find Zipwatch. Rosamaha with a man down. Do they want to risk these weapons? It doesn't look like it. Well, Samaha waiting for exits and the entire squad of Stroud Academy are going to exit from a main. Skush takes down one, Magent eliminates Savage, Millert and Doska. Oh! Doska is going to find Doni, and Magent is going to respond quick. He's going to try to get the up, but there's another player there. Oh, Miller the no scope connects on Magent. So, Rosamal, they actually lost a lot of players. I don't know if that was worth it. Timeout call by Sprout Academy. They know that one AK was saved, but nothing more than that. Lost bonuses on the second stage here, 1900 per player. So Rosamaha, with their current funds, 3.3 .3 on Rendy, 3.4 on Magin, 2.5 on Zipos. 
they can save and buy next round if they want to. But they've taken the timeout as well. No, they're not going to save. It will be the full investment from Zipposh. Famas on Magent and Famas on Wendy. Maltov doesn't get respected. Savage just running around freely. He gets one frag on Zipwatch. Are you kidding me? That was. I think he was running and just shooting. I would love to see it from his perspective, but no. Doshka. Stroud Academy are going to take mid. Doni alone, when he peaks, you'll see three players, and those guys going to eliminate him. This round is also over. Bomb has been planted. Sprout Academy are going to tie the score. Zamala team, they will save three guns. Hopefully this time. Terrorists win. Alert. Finds the first frag of the round on Doni. Imagine with the FAMAS. Here's a flash. Millard is ready though. That flash doesn't really blind him. Scush on the B defense. He's alone. He has this AK. Smoked off on the right side. Only can by the left, but Doshka is going to eliminate Skush, who thought that he had a gap, but maybe that was the bait from Shroud Academy. And if so, that is a very smart move. Bomb has been planted. Alert. Of off, shot, off shots missing here. Zippo's getting close with that 5 7. Here he is. Savage is going to take him down. Randy. Nice shot by FNK. Strat Academy, they take the lead, make it 4 to 3 now. We got a full buy from Rosamah team. Last round it was some safe weapons and minimal upgrades. But you can see that it costs Rosamah a bit here. They don't have full utility. 
I got no defuse kit. Doshka drops 24 HP. There's already a player out on jail, but Scush and Majin are gonna take care of Tak. Majin, he has a smoke to use. And here it comes. Okay, that's a nice bounce. Millet. This is blocked. And two smokes, not just one. Savage. Coming out of connector. Rosamaha have the right idea that somebody might be out. They have three players on this defense. Spout Academy with a frag grenade. After that smoke. Two HEs go on pillar, but there's no one there. Machin takes down FNK. Doshka is going to plant that bomb. They know about Savage being in connector. And now Doshka will be next to fall. Scush and Majin. It's only Miller. It's one versus five. The first kill is his. Looking for the second. Here's the swing, and it will be the only to decapitate Miller. Rosamaha team. They tie the score. It is a competitive second map as well. Vendi with that off has found Millard. Rosamar team and Sprout Academy. It was very interesting on the first map. And on the second one. It is interesting as well. A man vanished here for Rosamar and Sprout Academy. Molotov used. And it bounces to oblivion. FNK holding camera, but don't. He's not showing himself. Smoke. Counter smoke there by Donny. Spot Academy. Back grenade and flash to enter, but Donny's going to eliminate FNK. Zipos takes down Stock, and there's another player. Donny and Zipos don't allow entry on this A site. Great defense put up. Rosamaha take the lead, and they do it very convincingly. Five players alive. A timeout call by Sprout Academy. Tech nines. And from the CD side, we have three AKs, the AWP, and the single M4. It is a really powerful arsenal that they got. Well, let's see what the Tech nines will be able to do here. Incendiary ready for Magent, and I kind of have the read here. Here it is. Smoke's raining again. Imagine that Incendiary is big. And the second one, weirdly enough. Smoke the block off. 
Cloud Academy are going to push through that, though the flash is good. Magic gets the first fight, nothing more than that. Donny and Scutch. Kills found. Miller for the clock is going to find one, but Vandy and Scutch. No bomb planned for, uh, for Sprout Academy. It's Rosamaha to get the six. Grenades fly in on mid, Dozka drops the 46 HP. Rosamaha, nice nade. Savage is looking for an entry on A, but Rosamaha not giving him anything. Scush has found the frag on Tog. That was the lurker on B main. Big frag to find for Rosamaha. FNK. Is looking to apply some pressure towards B here. Three players on that A side. And Donny? Well, he's holding mid. He can rotate quick. When this A hit comes, imagine the off from Miller. That's a big fact to find. Zipwash needs at least one more here. But Miller being the hero that Sprout Academy desperately need. That off has found two big kills. Smoking camera. Donny is going to eliminate Savage, but in the meantime, FNK with his lurk has found Scutch. Two versus three here. Rosamaha, money is good for the last round of the first half, so you might as well just give this a shot. You've got nothing to lose, pretty much. Vendi. He's being sent the air from Donny. Make sure that no one is sitting close. Taking some damage from his own flames, and Millard has found the third frag. It is just Vendy now. One versus three. He gets the first frag by the time. It's done. Spout Academy. Millard. For this triple kill. To give them the fifth round. Is it going to be 6 to 6 or Rosamaha take 7? And if so, Spout Academy, their CT side better be good. Because this is their map picking on the T side. It's not looking great. This last round, it was the heroics of Millard to give them a fifth. Send the air from Magic is perfectly timed. FNK is going to take some damage. Zipash, AWP holding A main. The double off setup here from Ozamaha. Here's the flash. Zipash is. Okay, AFK? I don't know. Doni, incendiary and a flash available. And he gets a first frag, but it doesn't have any time to use any utility whatsoever. Savage with a trade. That's his second kill of the round. And Sprout Academy are looking for the last one of the first half. Dojka, very important duel. One versus Kush. Wendy, flames on his feet. Nade. On default and the incendiary. But that bomb already got planted. Miller just gonna take down Magent and now Randy one versus four. Somehow to make this one work with the op, it's extremely difficult. Waiting for the smoke on heaven to fade. And then he will go for the adventures. But talk the one tap to finish it off. Stroud Academy. A really good recovery with the last two rounds of this half. It's 6 to 6.
Sprout Academy. Those last two rounds were very important. Now let's see how well they do on the CT side. This is their map pick and they're looking to take us to Vertigo. Rosamaha out on the defense case behind double doors and they haven't checked for him, but Zipash eventually gets the frag. Three defenders on this A side. Rosamaha are going to go for A. It's about Academy. This is a good trap. Savage and Dojka find headshots. And now Rosamaha team find out that, okay, maybe this was not the best decision after all, but it doesn't matter. It's too late now to go back. Tog, Dojka, and Millard. Four versus five from Sprout Academy. They play heavy towards A. And even though FNK falls without finding a single kill, the rest of the teammates get the job done. Big round for Sprout Academy. Blocks, a deagle on Zipos. Kill on Doska. Millard fighting on mid. Vendy, he has the M4, but Millard is alive. FNK, kill found on Zipos, looking for the last one, Savage chasing with the MP9, and he will get the kill on Vendy and recover that rifle. A two round lead here for Sprout Academy, but now we got the full buy for Rosamaha team. Fight for a connector here. Sprout Academy have two players. A flash for FNK. He gets the first frag. Tox is there. Excuse me, not FNK. Kill found from Tox. Zip of the trade. Two more defenders on this B side. Those guys and FNK. One of them is on Ninja and Tony is going to go for the bomb. Plant in the open without clearing that corner. Vendy they'll trade found. And Zipos is going to find Dojka. Zipos. Did he spot the player on the canal as well? Skush finds Miller, so maybe it won't be necessary. Because Savage is not going to go for the retake. He's going to save this rifle. The flash for talk was good, but he, but he only got one kill. Stack on the B side here for Sprout Academy. Savage with a saved M4. Rose 
Samaha are going to execute on A. Smokes, mollies, flashes. No one here. Randy, there it is, the first flag of the round. It's on FNK. And Bars will eventually arrive and get two flags in the third. Savage is gonna try to save that M4 once again. Bozamaha, they lost the pistol on the follow up. You can see that winning the first gun round was very important. The second one is clean, five players alive, they build that cash. Looks like another execution here for Rosa Maha. Sprout Academy defaulting. Savage, he needs some help. Here it is. Flames on his feet and the flashes. He has to reposition. The smoke is good from Sprout Academy though. And it will enable Miller to come in with that up. And we know how big impact he can have with the sniper. Breaking the smoke is Zipposh. It's Sedoni and ready to get the frags here. Miller. Here is that up that I'm talking about, but just wants to run towards Broken without looking on his right side. And of course, Rosamar not going to allow that. Sprout Academy, honestly, I thought that they would put up a fight. They had two players there and the third one was really close to rotate. But it's Rosamaha. Take the lead, 9-8, to eight. another round where they don't lose a single player. Scourge manages to eventually jump, but he survives after all. Randy. Two M4s got saved last time from Shot Academy. Can FNK and Tuck do any multi kill plays? Well, FNK, that's a great start. This goes down. Randy with a trade. That's the M4 down. Miller, yes, he's going to pick that up, but no armor. That is the biggest problem. He's not much of a threat with 63 HP and no Kevlar, but Rosamaha, it looks like they want to go on A where the other M4 is. Smoke used by Zipposh, back grenades behind pillar. Tak gets one kill, Zipposh with the trade and he spotted the second Savage running to safety, but Zipposh is not going to allow him. Doshka and Miller are going to save their weapons. AK M4, the fuse get picked up there at the end. But Vos and Maha, they're getting to double digits.
Okay, Randy. Giving his teammate the special treatment. Well, they are happy, that's for sure. They lost the pistol and the follow-up, which was a full eco, but now... That's round number four in a row. Sprout Academy. It feels like they play better on Mirage than they do on their own map here on Anubis. Randy with the opening frag on Millard. Another great start here by Rosamaha. Sprout Academy have no answer just yet. Donny walking out mid. Dovichka the spray. He gets one frag, but imagine is there to trade. FNK. Out on mid. Imagine what a shot that is. Savage takes down Zippos. Molotov smokes. Executing on AR Rosamaha. Imagine the tag on Savage. He's looking for the third frag and he's going to get it. My god, the cross replacement is perfect. And it's just talk. One versus three. Huck, can he save this off? Imagine this already on the Han. He's looking for his fourth frag, but Tuck, he's ready. A timeout call for Sprout Academy. They're running out of rounds. Two more and they lose. This is the first match for both of these teams. Money is not a problem for Sprout Academy. We gotta buy again. Double off setup. Hit on the A side, most of all, they've been successful with this one. Donny takes down Savage, the off from, from Dojka, the frag grenade will be the end of him. FNK, he's got some space behind the smoke and he spots one player, but Donny decapitates FNK. It's Tuck and Millard, and just like that, another round goes the way of Rosamaha. These A hits, they've been very successful. Out of all of these six rounds that they've won, I think... Four of those were on A. Zipoch on a mission, hunting here. Tak is going to take down Donny, but he's running out of ammunition. And Zipoch is now going to let him escape. And Miller double scoped him. The flash on B main. He gets a first flag on Zipoch. But Majin and Rendy. They don't even have time to get close to Miller. Rosamaha. Match point.
Is this going to be the end for Sprout Academy? Or will they extend play? FNK has found Scudge 5 versus 4. It's been a while since we've seen Sprout Academy get the first kill of the round. It's usually been Rosa Maha. Savage playing on a main, eventually goes back. Now Tuck, player and connector. There is no flash for him to peek. At the same time, Miller is going to play with him. He's got that up, holding. We got utility from the Rosa Maha side, but by the looks of things, it looks like a contact play. And Miller, that will be a free frag on Rendy. The op is down. FNK is going to get eliminated by Doni. Miller finds Majin. Doni. Ooh, the spray. It's not good enough. Zipwatch. Kill found on Doshka. He's not expecting another player to be there. That's Savage with the MP9. Tap on that one once by Zipwatch. And Savage is now going to lose that fight. Sprout Academy. Round number nine. Three more rounds here for Sprout Academy to take us to overtime and then fight for that third map and then fight for the victory. It's quite a long road. And for Rosa Maha, one round and it's done. Money is not a problem. They will buy again. Miller to another opening frag here for Sprout Academy. Don't need the trade is quick, but 10 HP is walking towards bridge and talk. Oh my. I guess he didn't see it from the smoke, and Doni's going to jump. I don't know why. It was 10 HP. It was a very bold decision. That doesn't work out, unfortunately. Well, Zama are going back to what, to what worked for them. That A site. They're outnumbered. Two defenders on this bomb site. It's FNK and Savage. Smoke, small is main in. Savage will be the first to fall match, and that's the big bag. FNK, one kill on the second, the lineup. Big double kill. Vendi with the op. Even though FNK's low HP doesn't make a difference against the op here. And here's FNK finally falls. Vendi needs this bomb plant. Five seconds left, four seconds left. Is he going to be safe? No, he's not. Talk has survived from A main and Sprout Academy. They get to double digits. Big double kill from FNK. We got a tech pause, which is going to be a good timeout for both teams. They can talk what's been happening so far. Money is not a problem here for Bozama. Once again, they have a full buy, but if they lose this one, then they will be in trouble as they will not have enough. So Sprout Academy. They're getting closer to overtime.
That was a Maha. Looks like a fake. Savage. That grenade after that smoke. And Rosa Maha are going to respect that. It is the execution on A that's been working time and time again here for Spout Academy, but this time there is no commitment. And I don't really know what the big idea was here. Are you going to re hit? Looks like it. A five man push on this A bomb site. The first execution was to drain out the utility of Sprout Academy, and here comes the second wave. The second exec, Dojka, taking some damage from the frag grenade, he gets one frag, Donny with the trade, Donny finds a second on Savage, the off shot from Milton is not going to miss, that is such a big kill to find. Skush, a re-smoking connector, Sprout Academy, all three players are going from CT here, towards heaven, frag grenades on Skush and Rendy. The fuse kit's available, and you have utility on Miller. Frag grenade, smoke, and a flash. Donny playing on site. He is the fully, well, the player who has most HP. Scush and Randy are both 43 health. Here's Donny. Spots the first player, gets the frag on Miller. Looking for more than this. Donny spots another player. Randy's gonna take down FNK. And it is only Tuck that keeps Sprout alive on this match. He gets the first frag, but there is not enough time. GG's Rosa Maha team. An incredible comeback on Mirage from 11 to 9. They made it 13 to 11. And now on Anubis, the map series of Sprout Academy, where I expected more, they uh, play some really great Counter Strike. 13 to 10. Rosamal played better uh, on Anubis than they did on their own map pick. And Sprout, I don't know what happened. Uh, they barely got six rounds on the first half. Uh, it would it could have easily been a 7 to 5 or even an 8 to 4 half for Rosamaha But it was 6 to 6 and then on the second half Sprout did win the pistol and the follow-up but Rosamaha won five rounds in a row uh, And then Sprout did try a little comeback there with these last two rounds from 12 to 8 making it 12 to 10 a bit more interesting But Rosamaha, uh, I like this uh, last round the first execution was simply to drain out the utility to make Sprout use everything they have on that A defense. And the second time when they exec, well, Sprout had no utility whatsoever. Just the M force to fight, the rifles, whatever they had, and Donny had a big double kill. And at the end, they finished on that A bomb site, but they've been very, very successful. So congratulations to Rosa Maha and good luck in the future matches. As for Sprout Academy, back to the drawing board. Uh, job's not finished, job's not done just yet. They will have more matches of Counter-Strike to play in the future but that's it for the first match of the day we are going to be taking a break and then we will get ready for the qualification match for the playoff uh, uh, decider match here between uh, strawless talent and permita i'll see you guys soon
Hello everybody, excuse me for my technical difficulties, electricity problems, but uh, I am finally back from Eda versus Astral Asylum. This is one hell of a match that we got in front of us. It is a qualification match, as I mentioned earlier on the first match of the day. And here we have Veggy with the entries on the B side. He's found two frags and Mario's going to join on the fun and get a third on SG1. That leaves J Bone and uh, Brock 2 versus 5 and this retake ain't happening. It will be Pramita to win the first half. Seven round at least here, and they will be looking for eight. Astralis Talent. CT side is not strong enough, at least not so far, but they will get their part on the T side. However, a fifth round would be very important here, but Pramita, they know that the economy is low. And they are trying hunt the smoke on the left side. Croc can actually hide in that one. Here's the sway from behind. More from the other side. And yep, Croc is going to make use of that smoke. I don't know what the big idea was. And oh, but the sway is not the best from Croc and more is going to turn around. Astralis Talents lose both the op and the M4. Great hunt by Permita. No weapons saved. $1,900. I don't know how you make this one work. We got an M4 on Croc. MP9s, 5.7 and CZ. Morel spotted her being on the other side. Frag grenade and spray in the smoke, but quick here is not going to give up cave. Mari. Lots of player in cave. In Donut, excuse me. Kill found by Morals of the Trade is immediate by Croc. Even numbers here. That M4 has to do more work than just one frag. Veggie finds NC1. No man advantage here for Permita. And Alex on fan. With the MP9. Don't know how much you can do, but he will try his best there. Here's Veggie. Kill found on Alex. Now J Bone and Croc remain. The boost. It's so common these days that it always goes checked by the T side. Veggie with the last on Croc. Permita. Eight rounds on the first half after they've lost pistol. This is very impressive. I don't know the reasons why the coach is playing today. I mean, I don't know the reason why a player is missing today. The coach is standing in. Pops is not in the server. And with Alex, of course, and I, no disrespect, but it would be much more difficult. 29 year old, who knows how long it's been since he has grinded playing Counter Strike, not analyzing and coaching. Four players from Permita in cave, and they are going to fight on Snake Morrill. Spots one player. He's not going to push, though. He will just stand here and fight. Morrell will be the first to fall. Croc, big kill found, and he reads the situation with a crossfire strong. I say strong. Kerr and ends. You want the lead Veggie and Beanox, and now the B side is open. Mari is going to push that smoke, but it will be Kerr to eliminate Mari with the help of Alex. Mast. <laughs> Spots and Z1 there. There's not much you can do. Diffuse kit and a smoke. And now he will get pushed. Nice shot on NZ1. My god. 
So I'll sell him. They win the second pistol as well. Once again, mass. An incredible shot on hands you want. Base is destroying complexity over at the major. Oh no. I was hoping that complexity would win. Not gonna lie. Not really hoping, but my prediction was that complexity would win that match. Well, back onto this one. Permito will force by. We got an MP9 on mass. Nice frag, grenade, croc, and Anzu won't take a chunk of damage there. Besides the MP9 on mass, we have the 5 sevens, a Desert Eagle, and a CZ. Not every day do we see the CZ in play. Cheese. J Bone is going to eliminate B Nox. Some man advantage here for the Danes. Mass. Still waiting patiently, but that's all talent. They're not going to push just yet. Five player stack. Oh, the snake. Nice shot by Vegas with the Deagle. Does he have more? Attack on current. Mast. He has an angle, but it's with the MP9, it's not ideal. Bob will be planted. Mast takes down Croc, and here's the push. Spots two more players. Alex is going to eliminate Mast. That's his second frag right there. Big progress. Mari and Morels versus three. The MP9 picked up, but he doesn't have enough uh, bullets in it. Jay Bourne playing close with a pistol. And Morales takes him down. Alex, it will be next to Fall because he was low HP. And now Kerr, 27 HP, 1 versus 2. Morales is going to stick on that defuse. And Mari will simply hold ramp. And Kerr is not peeking just yet. Here it is. It will be Permita to win with the forge by Mari and Morales. The 2 versus 3 clutch. But I got to say, Morales with a double kill. That was big. It's just like the first half. Oh, the shotgun from Mass. He's going to make some money. One, two, three, a four. Can he get the ace? One's out of ammunition. A bit 360 for the style. And of course, he finishes it. $4,500 in the pocket from the kill bonus. And then he gets an additional $3,250 from the round win. Total, the guy just made over 7.7k in one round. God damn. Round number 16 has started and Kerr already has taken some damage. Mass with his shotgun adventures. Going towards Snake now. Oh my, the headshot on Croc. You have a second on NG1 Mass again. The XM can be crazy at times at the right distance. We can see how powerful it is. It also gives you that luxury of uh, running and gunning. And it is still accurate. Nox, a dink, no, maybe just a tag on Kerr. Mass nearly lands the shot on J Bone, but no. Mario the flying, Kerr is a dead man walking. Here's Mari, a free frag. Incendiary on heaven as well. The remaining two players of Assault's talent. Currently hitting B, small on shore by Alex. Morales is going to eliminate J Bone and Alex, the coach. The one versus three. He starts off out with the first flag, but he doesn't expect the second player to be here. And B Nox takes a sweet time.
11 to 5, Permidar speed running ancient here. It's fast talent with another force by. Deck 9s and 2 Mac 10s. Veggie's blind, but eventually his vision returns and he gets two frags. Morals is going to push his rub that smoke. 30 bullets in the magazine. Oh, he thought he got the second frag, but no. Still. That thing is huge. Mask lines and up. The Yogg. Map point for Permita. 12 to 5. We got a timeout from Alex. Seven rounds in a row. That's how many Astralis talent need. I think at this point, if you're a small sound, you want to get as many around as possible. Even if you don't end up coming back, it's better to have a 13 to 9 defeat than a 13 to 5 defeat, let's say. Kill found by Morals on Curry. Mari takes down Croc. Doesn't look like for me to care at all. My god, kill after kill is just ends you one, and yeah. It's over. It's over for sure here. And Zivan is going to fall eventually. And Permita show no mercy to Astralis Talent. Coming in hot after their match at the other tournament at United 21. Against Astralis Talent, who unfortunately don't have the full roster. Who've got the coach as a stand-in. Alex, he can offer uh, so much advice, but when it comes to the firepower. He is not at this level as these other players in the lobby or in the server. Well, that's it for the first map. 13 to 5. Permita, it was a map pick. Vertigo is up next. The choice of a Astralis Talent. Um, it will be difficult, but maybe they can take us to the third map. You never know. We will take a break and then we will come back with more Counter-Strike.
first map went quick. Parmida didn't show any mercy versus Astralis Talent who are playing with their coach right now, unfortunately. 13 to 5 on Ancient and now we are on Vertigo on the map choice of Astralis Talent. Or else, oh my, starts off with a headshot on Kerr. Real early, j Bone. there is pressure on his shoulders to deliver with these duelies. Here he is, Morels takes him down as well. It doesn't matter how many players are going to peak Morels, he is more than prepared. And he still has that smoke to use, because he picked it up from j Bone's body, if I'm not mistaken. Or Curse. Permita. Bomb is going towards B though, and Croc is here, that's a huge rack to find. Veggie falls, looking for the second, Mari. Needs that trade. In the meantime, Anzu1 has found a frag on A. Alex. Oh, Anzu1 finds another. Looking for the third. My god, what a round from Anzu1. Huge triple kill. And he was really good on Asian 2. He finished with 17 frags. Mari has shot found on Alex. That was a low HP player. Now Anzu1. He's picked up the Glock. Versus Mari. 1v1. Playing behind double. No kit for NZ1, so he has to hurry a bit now. Getting closer, 25 seconds remaining on that bomb. Mari, they swat at each other, but it's going to be Mari to get the headshot. The one versus two clutch. Nice try from NZ1. Those kills on A were incredible. But unfortunately, Astralis Talent lose a pistol round. And on Ancient, they won both pistols. This is the first pistol that they lost. Got the forest by three MP9s and a P250 on Alex. A lot of utility on Jay Bone, who hasn't forced bought into this one. He's saving 1300 bucks. Croc takes down Mast. Here are the flashes. They're going to fight on Ram. There is no spot though. And Morels is not blind. He gets one kill. Kerr with a trade. Marty, that Molotov is good. Flushes out Kerr. Out of the corner, the frag on A flies in, and Anzu wants to take down Mari. The kills coming in from the Slaw's Talent are good, but the trades are immediate by Permita. And Jay Bowen has no armor. He's picked up the MP9, Alex, the P250. Bomb being planted on B. Binox versus Alex. Alex has the right idea, but he's not able to get the frag. In the meantime, J Bowen, he's got himself an AK and he's going to save it. Ramita survived the force by. It was a really nice swipe from Astral's talent. Terrorists win. We have the AK on J-Bone who's invested on armor. And the boost here on A. They are taking their sweet time knowing that a weapon was saved. They're waiting for any sort of aggression. Yes, no kill though. The Nox is going to eliminate Alex on B. J Bone with that AK frag grenade on his feet. He's going to drop him for 36 HP. Saving it again is not a bad idea here. Mari. 
kill that back. Then he will go for more. The pre-fire is good, but he won't. He's gonna take him down. b -notch eliminates Croc. Two players remain here from the Straw Sound. Think that's just one. And here. There's currently a player flanking him. It's Morals. Who will eventually arrive. Peggy gets the last frag. Permita. Three rounds. First gun round of Vertigo. Morales is looking for an early fight on Ramp. The flash is good. He spotted one player on Sandbag. That frag grenade is going to deal good damage to Zeborn. Croc on yellow as well. Morales heard him. Zeborn, he's going to get active here. But he doesn't see anybody. Bermuda. Morales taking some damage in the smoke, but he's still standing here, and Croc. Oh, Croc. Morales, this should be a fight for him. There it is, kill found. Now J-Bone with that up. My grenade, and the flash, and J-Bone is gonna go back. And j is being pressured on that B side. He's not alone, Alex is with him, and Alex will take down Mass. b -Nox. trade found on NG1. Utility raining in on this B side. Alex has found a second frag here. Big double kill, and Jay Bourne, he's not ready for more else. A site in control here for Permita. Alex is low HP. Here has to do the heavy lifting. Mari executes care who was trying to say that M4 and it's only the coach who did well on this round two kills but the lurk from Morals was good here he is finishing up with the last frag four rounds for Permita We got the pistols now for Astral's talent to defuse hit on NG1. Just in case, you never know if you might need it. Morels walking up ramp, spotting the player. That grenade is gonna deal some good damage to Croc. B Nox. Beggy and Morales get kill after kill after kill on this A side. And they only leave Alex with the CZ. I found AK, thank you very much. But surviving will be quite the challenge. There it is. Round number five for Permita. Timeout used. 
And let's see if Astral Sound can start winning a couple of rounds here on their map pick. Bermuda, even if Astral Sound had the full roster, they would be the favorites to win this match. J-Bone will be off, kill found on Morals, and he's tagged Veggie as well. And send the A B use. Promita, it looks like they wanted to change the pace and go for a fast A hit, but that kill from J-Bone is big. Here with the smoke on yellow, and z has found Mass Croc takes a lot of damage there. Mari, one more bullet and he gets a frag, but no. Wall bang attempts from Kerr. Here's J-Bone with the off once more. Veggy, 26 HP. He got tagged by J-Bone earlier. 60 seconds remaining here for Pramita. Kerr is going to eliminate Veggy. Phoenox throwing a lot of here. Smoke on the left side, but there are three players on the right side or on Phoenox's left side. Here it is. He finds the first frag Croc looking for the second, but Kerr is going to eliminate him. And that leaves only Mari versus four. Kurt looking for his third frag and he's going to get it. That was clean. Well played from Kurt. Purple kill. They really needed that timeout. They kind of remind themselves that, hey, they, they are not such a bad team. Even though they have their coach playing right now, it doesn't mean that it should be 13-0. Big triple kill. Four players alive last round, so... That's good for the economy. Alex kill found on Beanox. Morals for the trade on Croc and Z1. Rotating. Z1 as well, making a lot of noise here. Not expecting Permina to be up mid so quick. And Vegan, that's a beautiful kill. And as you want the flash is great, but two players, he only gets one. Alex, who started the round with the first kill on Beanox, making it to five versus four, but it's not a great finish. He's got the bomb. And he knows that they will be coming from everywhere. Here it is, he has a first read correct, but the timing is unfortunate here. So unfortunate for Alex Mast. As soon as he turns his head, there it is, kill found on Alex. Take a look at this round. Alex already brought down to 19 HP. He wanted to fight on B again. This time doesn't go as planned, but he's still alive. Mass knows about one player on standbacks. You want the frag on aid is going to eliminate Veggie. After he got that kill on Kerr. J Bone. Spots a couple of players on ramp there. Ramita. They want to take ramp. All top used. By Croc on Morals, Mar with a trade. And Z1. Look 
looking for information here on ramp and he will not see anybody with Jay Bowen, but will they expect Mari already in gap or short? Well, certainly. Jay Bowen will get a freebie on that one. Now Mast and Beatnox are already on the B side. Alex will simply try to stay alive here and wait for his teammates. And hold in case anybody is going to aggress towards spawn. Towards CT. Here is as far as talent. Beanox eliminates Alex. And Z1 is coming from behind. J Bowen. Kind of making this one obvious. Yeah, Beanox is going to turn around here and watch for the flank. Here it is. And Z1, the timing is perfect. Gets the kill on Beanox. Now Mass in the 1v1. And Z1 versus Mass. Time is running out here. And Z1 has to stick that defuse. And Mass, this should be an easy kill. And Z1 is so close. And Z1, my god, he gets the defuse. Mass. Doesn't swing completely to the left side, starts shooting when he sees his hair and he struggles to connect the shots. A ninja defuse in front of your opponent's eyes. Well, okay. That's round number two for Astralis Talent. Kill found by Veggie, the aggression on there from Astralis Talent does not work out. They tried something else. You can't really blame them because the way this match has been going, Permita, if they execute, they're going to win. So they try to push, get a frag, and then come back to their default places. Doesn't go as planned. Found by Croc, they give it the trade, and Jay Bone. I don't think he's surviving this one. Oh, the nade from Mari's perfect. He gets the frag on Jay Bone and Vinox. Sacrifices were made. Just the OSPs here for the Danish side, and Mass can take down Croc. Here comes the push, Jay Bowen. We got another team kill here, this time it's Morals on Marvy. Premier is still in the round though. Yeah! Nice. He calculated that. He knew he wouldn't die, because the round would end. Ramita, a six round lead here. Eight to two. I think at this point it's just a formality. And I mean, no disrespect, of course, to Astralis Talent, but not on their full capacity here. And Z1 gets the kill on Mari. Alex, he's been fracking on Vertigo. Okay, there he goes, second frag from the coach. Let's go, Alexander. Kerr is going to eliminate Veggie. Pass. Headshot found on Kerr. Does he have three more in him? Going on the bomb side where there are two players from Astral Sound and Jay Bowen holding that angle, Mast is waiting, but Jay Bowen doesn't give Mast the opportunity. Steps heard. Jay Bowen has a really good angle here. Mast was looking for that five, but there's no way you're getting the kill on Jay Bowen. It's a really powerful angle. A third round for Astralis Talent. Ah, 
Nice shot from Jay Bond to start the round. He's going to cash mast. Fourth one here would be very, very good for as well as talent. Vegas has found the key along here. Alright, oh, man. Oh no, Jay Bond. He got the shot. And it was a wall bang. And Pramita, they're heading towards the safe site. Oh, Alice is disconnected. Veggie, nice shot on Croc. It is just NZ1. Forcing for Astralis. Things go from bad to worse. Alex. Disconnects from the server. And this was a good start. This shot from Jay Bowen. 9 to 3. It's going to be very difficult for Astralis Sound to come back. The second half has begun here. Bermuda, nine rounds on the first half. As well as talent, only with three. The HUD will get updated soon, don't be fooled. Bermuda, close to win their match and make it to the playoff stage. We got the duelies on mass, smoking a flash on Mari and from Bermuda. Smoking two flashes on Alex. Mast. I guess the round is not live because Alex disconnected again. Yep, we're not live. Round will get backed up, of course. Can you jump? <laughs> oh. I believe you've done that to your teammates at least once. Ask them if they can jump and then block them. Oh my! Veggy didn't get blocked from Morrells. He try again. That's what he says. Wow. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Veggy. Now Morrells will try the same thing. Ah, Morrells can't do it. <laughs> Morrells can't do what Veggy does. He's better when it comes to movement. That's for sure.
Now we got the tech pause. Are you a fan of Pinkman from Breaking Bad? Yes. Yes, I am. I love Jesse. I love Breaking Bad. I love Better Call Saul. You sound a little Canadian. Well, okay, thank you. I'm nowhere close to Canada. I am from Kosovo. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that country. It's quite small. The population of 1.8 million. It is in the Balkans, and we are neighbors with Albania, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia. I think that's it. Don't know if I'm, if I'm forgetting any other country. Can someone tell me what happened now? Well, the Saul sounds are having a te technical difficulty. I think Alex is not able to play just yet, so. The first half finished 9 to 3 in favor of Permida. The pistol round will be restarted, of course. There's a technical difficulty or a technical problem appeared during the pistol. Why are Croc's legs like that? Um, he's back to normal. Well, the round did get restarted, but now, well, it looks like everything is okay. Yeah, we're back on freeze time to start the second half, which might be the last. I saw a sound only three rounds in the first half on their map pick. Smoking two flashes on Alex, Dooley's on Mast. The fuse kit and smoke on Mari, flash on Binox, and a smoke on Veggie. Pretty diversified utility here for Permita. And they're stacking towards B with three players. And it is the right call. Because Bomb is in front of B, but Marvel's he's been jump spotted this entire time. He spots a player. And the second, I believe. And he will slowly go back. J Bone and NC1 have this tower on B main. Waiting for any aggression. Her eliminates Veggie. B knocks with the trade. Even numbers immediately after that, but B side is completely deserted here. We've got Mass playing from E box or Jenny. The duelies. Here it comes, the push from Mass. He gets a frag on NC1. J Bone gets a trade. Permita don't want to allow Saul Sound to plant the bomb. Mari takes down J Bone. Alex, no Kevlar. And Croc, who uses that smoke. Alex, nice shot. Croc with the team kill, but it doesn't matter. He gets the following two headshots. Oh my god. We've seen three team kills on this map so far. Two of those from Permida on the T side, and now Swallow's talent. Croc as well. Sacrifices had to be made, but it was worth it at the end. Because Swallow's talent with the pistol round. Three frag grenades ready for masts if that bomb gets planted on a default. Ramita with the forward spy. We got Mari boosted on mid. Execution on B by Astral's talent. Mari takes down Alex. This is a good start. Tap on that bomb and they're expecting the flood from Ramita. Here comes the first dragon eight croc takes down Veggy. J Bone and NC1 coming from mid. Finding two frags and leaving only mast. One versus four. He has a defuse kit. 
but he's getting too close to the enemy. I don't think the Swallows Towns are going to exit from the main. At least not all of them. Hold on. Wait a minute. Nah, I could spotted him. It's not happening. Or... Nice. No, 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 it doesn't have enough time! Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Nice try, still, I respect that. I respect that from Mast. It's a nice attempt. Another tech pause. Well, winning versus the force by here is big for the Swallows Talon because now they are facing USPs, which means that score in about two minutes will be nine to six. P250 investment on Mari. And from Australia's talent, we got a Mackin on NZ1 and the MP9 on Croc. Molotov on Sandbag and Hamida. They will wait. Has shot on Kerr. Along with the P250 gets one in the second, and the MP9 picked up. Hold on. J Bone and Alice with a cleanup. They got out of control for a moment, but these were the players who were playing long range. They pick up the bomb. Marvi has rotated from ramp towards gap here for yellow. The Swallows Talent. They're waiting if Marvi is going to show himself. Marvi is patient. He has a good angle. Should be able to get a frag. Here it is, the first kill on J Bone, and now he is versus the coach. But Alex, he's been playing good on Vertigo. Don't let him fool you, even though he's only a coach. Eight kills to his name. Smoke. And he's gonna go for that bomb plan. Marvi is going to show himself earlier. And he will get the frag. Quad kill by Marvi Permita. They steal the round. It was an eco. Four USPs and one P250. One versus two clutch at the end there with the MP9. No Kevlar. It doesn't receive a single point of damage. And I was so sure of myself that I said in about two minutes or so, we'll see the score go nine to six. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. I, I started believing a little bit, not gonna lie. But after dropping that one, it's gonna hurt as well as talent a lot. Here he is, kill found on Alex, 5 versus 4, that's a clean entry. Curry with a trade. Veggie, playing on double. He knows that Curry is on white box and he will get that kill. Nice frag grenade, but he gets the headshot. Smoke available. Mari, frag found on Croc. NZ1 and J Bone remain.
more wells. And G1 getting boosted on mid. Moros, is the reaction going to be quick? Yes, he sees man G1 before. But J Bone, that's a nice shot. Peggy on mid though. Eliminate J Bone and NG1 finds the trade. But he's left with 23 HP versus two players. And time is running out. 30 seconds. Onto this B bomb site we go. And G1 sneaking up. We got Mass, the incendiary is perfectly timed. Eight seconds, but Anzi one is going to plant on the other side. He has no other choice but to stick the plant. And Mass is going to get the frag. Permita are now one step closer to victory. 11 to 5. Anzi one considering he was 23 HP in the 1 versus 2. Best case scenario is planting that bomb. Peggy is going to drop for his blood, Kerr. The boost on mid once again doesn't work out for a small talent. Mass takes down NZ1, Marvy eliminates Croc. One by one, the Danes are falling. Morels pushing here, but j Bone was waiting. Alex with a Desert Eagle, the hand cannon. J Bone will fall to Mari. Alex close. Steel pulls to get that headshot on Vega, but it doesn't happen. For me, they get mash point. It's going to be the same scoreline as it was on the first map 13 to 5. The economy is not great here for Astralis Talent. They got pistols again. Three tech nines and two deagles. Default start from Permita, but this time we got more aggression on mid. It's Veggy pushing, and he's going to catch NZ1 by Ladder Room throwing some utility. And the Swallow Talent eventually they're going to show themselves. Croc takes down Marvi. Marvels and Mass with the cleanup. GG's well played, Permita. 13 to 5 on Ancient, 13 to 5 on Vertigo. They win versus the Swallow Talent, who had a stand in today for Tops. It was the coach, Alex. Um, a nice try. Permita make it to the playoff stage there, as expected. Astralis Talent, it feels like if they had tops, maybe it could have been a closer match. You never know what could have happened. But with Alex, not as easy. And on the second map, Alex didn't play bad. He had some good rounds with uh, multi-kills, double kills. Uh, and he had the round where he got the entry, but uh, Astralis Talent still lost the round. Overall, Permita is a better squad. Even if they didn't have uh, Alex, their co standing in, I still feel like it would have been a W for them. But either way, that is it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, as it gets dark in my room. Uh, it was a pleasure to cast these two matches. The first one was um, from Group D, Rosamar versus Sprout Academy. We didn't see these two teams play. And then from Group A, we had the winner's match, the Swallows Talent versus Permita Esports. And uh, tomorrow we will be back with more Counter-Strike. So follow us in our socials at EOProLeague on Twitter. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.